this video, I'm gonna be giving you ways in which you can invest in your photography education. to my channel to those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and to those of you who are joining me it's again welcome back i'm Tarang R. i'm a photographer and i am here to help you solve your photography problems well sam anywho in this video i'm going to give you six ways in which you can improve on your photography education it's a huge investment and it is worth it because hey that's how we learn we invest in things i mean just like you go to school and go to university anywho first thing if you're wanting to invest in your education, there are online courses. There are websites that offer online courses. Udemy, Creative Live, the list goes on and on and on. And in some cases, some websites even give free courses on this. So you might want to check these out. I'll mention a link to a few of the sites I use down below. Second thing you can use, photography books. Look, I know not many people read, a lot of people should read actually. Um, if you're a bookworm and want to learn your photography like that, that's also an option. Third thing, YouTube. YouTube has, has such amazing free content, so much free content that, I mean, if you're struggling with something, all you need to do is like go on Google, type what you're looking for and boom, it pops up. Number four, there are also photographers that have actual classes on their websites. If you look, check it out. They've got website classes that they can sell to you at a very good price. And sometimes they even have specials. So you might want to keep an eye out on those. I know two photographers that do it, which I look up to. Sue Bryce, um, Lindsay Adler. I'll put the link to their websites down below. Number five, you can attend photography workshops. Look, I know with the COVID situation, it's a bit tricky, but I mean, it's not here to stay. Photography workshops are super beneficial. Some workshops are even structured in such a way that you deal with different photographers that teach different things. I've been to a couple of workshops. One of my favorite workshops was by Jenny Brennacle. She's an amazing wedding photographer. Yes, some workshops cost an arm and a leg, but it was worth it. She taught me back button focus. Ah! And the final, final, final one. Some photographers even have online blogs. When you look at their websites, like Jackie, she's got a section that gives photographers advice. And you can also just go on Google and type online photography education blogs. Trust me, there are plenty. You just need to apply your mind and see which ones you like and which ones you don't. Let's do a quick recap. Number one, online courses. Super efficient, super effective. And look, you're gonna pay for some, but it's worth it. Second, photography books. There are plenty. If you're a bookworm and like learning like that, go for it. Third, YouTube has so much amazing free content. I would advise you go and check it out. Fourth, video classes that you could find on your favorite photographer's website. Some photographers offer courses, so you might wanna check those out. Number five, attend workshops. They are super informative. And yes, I know COVID's a thing now, but when things get back to normal, if they ever will, go for workshops. They're super beneficial. And the last one, online blogs. Google, you'll find plenty of simple things. Remember, some courses may be expensive, but in the long run, it's all worth it because why are you gonna make that money back eventually? So that's all from you with this video. And I hope it was helpful if you know anybody that is either stingy and doesn't want to invest. Tell them they won't get far. They need to put in the work. And yeah, to those who are willing to pay and to get far with their photography, this is the way. Let's be great. Goodbye.